Shalom. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles. Great my stone salutation to the elect that's pushing the shoot out in the heavens and by ways. And all praise to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I basically want to touch on this video concerning this gender awareness. Now, in Guyana over here is um. It has moved to, moved to one location whereby the ministries in the workshop and school curriculum, they, they are actually considering it or they are actually making plans to institute or to bring this, bring this in effect, right? And basically, um, I got news saying that they had a... Um, a workshop concerning this gender awareness uh, for you brothers who don't know what this gender awareness that they're implementing basically is about um they giving this drag queen or the lgbt um educational educational system within these nursery school or these daycare or we want to say play schools they're starting it from a young from the younger age right Anyway, starting off with this precept, the second is just 15 and verse 5. Behold, said Yahweh, I will bring plague upon the earth, the famine, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and, and their heartful works are fulfilled. Therefore said Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit because destruction is coming upon this place. Right? And every day seen it well basically over in Guyana. Guyana take a, in the last three months Guyana take a, a swing. A swing and more to wickedness. Right? And neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, they're exercising even the little even the little children. That's why the scripture says little children die. Because in the school they're teaching these things. The LBGT. Going on, behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually exactly this day I'm the elect and the uh, brothers who push in the shoot, sincere brothers who push in the shoot on the highways and byways. You know, it says verse 9 and therefore said Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the, all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, we're gonna be delivered out of this wickedness. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is show a video, right? Because this thing is implemented in Canada already. Well, I'm speaking of Guyana here, right? They want to bring this to this country. Actually, they in the ministry already. They had a workshop speaking about it. And this is of recent. A family can be made up in many different ways. It's Rocky called Soji for sexual Rocky orientation Rocky and gender identification, and a curriculum that teaches public school students across Canada to, to celebrate the homosexual that lifestyle that and that gender yeah. is fluid. Is no. In other words, no. your gender is not dependent on what parts you were born with, but rather what you feel like in the moment. There's people that are boys, there's people that are girls. There are, peop there are people whose gender might be a little bit of both or might even be neither. Lessons include books about transgender children, such as 10,000 Dresses, and songs like The Rainbow Song. Gender won't decide the choices we make. Some boys like dressing up, some girls like catching snakes. The Soji curriculum started in British Columbia in 2016 and is quickly spreading throughout Canada. I just thought, 
Who decided that this was okay yeah. to teach our children? Author and inspirational speaker, Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson, is a leading voice against the SOGI curriculum. And we are seeing the results of that now because some kids are reacting very emotionally and saying, you know, and they're in fear. Will I be, you know, will I suddenly struggle with feeling like a different gender inside of my body? No. Carrie Simpson of Culture Guard, another leading opponent, calls the curriculum nothing short of child abuse. All those beautiful qualities that make young girls beautiful girls and women are being basically vilified. The things that make our boys boys are being, you know, taken from them. Um, so things of equating young men to being strong protectors is something that's now evil. But Morgan Auger, a transsexual and supporter, claims it's about acceptance, not indoctrination. The idea is to teach kids that there are gay kids and there are trans kids and there are trans parents and gay parents in our society and, the, and everybody's wanted and desired. After all, that's what our human rights code says and it's the role of schools to teach the, to teach the following of our laws, right? Simpson disagrees, saying she sees Soji's real goal as altering our culture from a heteronormative society into one where anything goes, no boundaries, no values, no morals. Um, it's a hedonistic uh, cult, basically what they're Im implying. Another bl It is a hedonistic cult. It is a hedonistic cult. And is yeah, he is basically pushing this thing. You know? Hey, these people we hate as hell though. I'll continue playing so you, you brothers could see. Glaring example, drag queen story time. It's happening in Canada and America, where some public schools and libraries invite drag queens, some dressed like torn demons, to read to young children. And it's a social deconstructionist agenda. They're using children, little five-year-olds, to accomplish this. And parents are waking up and saying no. When asked about parents' rights, OJ says... Well, actually, in Canada, parents' rights are limited and children's rights are put ahead. So the child has the right to be protected from the parents when the parents behave badly. Canada is known as one of the most gay-friendly countries in the world, with many of their largest cities featuring their own gay villages, like here in Vancouver, which has literally rolled out the Rainbow Road. Most gays, like village resident Dave Davy DiCarlo, support SOGI and limiting parental rights. The change that we have to see is sometimes the parents and the kids are doing actually really okay. This is very scary stuff. Longtime Vancouver area pastor Kevin Cavanaugh says this is far more serious than most Canadian Christians realize. Our problem is not in a girl's body. The mother went to the school the very next day, and instead of having any sort of tolerance or support or understanding, she was actually called names. She was told that she was a homophobe, that she was a bigot. With that in mind, Tyler Thompson, Simpson, and Pastor Kevin are spreading their message across social media and in town hall meetings. The pro-gay backlash has been fierce. And the hatred. All right. Yo, did this time be getting in? Slack you. This is the in second Timothy chapter three, reading from verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, boaster, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, 
you know just this thanks to this um, society disobedience to parents unthankful unholy without natural affection Tr truth breakers false accusers incontinent incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good basically you can come and, there's an army building to come against the men of Yahweh Bashem right and the world is already against us you know um traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the power given a form given a form of godliness but denying the power thereof right these, these christians because they given they given form like if this of godliness right and they still pushing this ideology and so on and it's, and a lot of things in christianity is based off of fault this going back to this um this christmas holiday a roman pagan holiday called saturnalia right but you christians you going against this one this one thing but you yourself going um you you do self contributing to the rest putting the women over the men in the church yeah, the women preaching in the church the, if, if feminizing the young men you yourself doing it it's in these religious groups right um but denying the power thereof from such torn away for of those sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with divorce loss exactly because this thing catch it to your ears ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth when you waking up to this to this truth come into our bashim yashai doctrine uh, no and so get this party so jump into verse 13 but evil men and seducers shall wax in worse and worse shall wax worse and worse so like you deceiving and being deceived exactly these people are deceiving people are being deceived uh, this is basically the pushing and they had a and they had a um one this um drag queen singing this damn um gay song and this will be the teaching in the school so your brothers gonna pay attention you brothers who got children you know pray to your bashim your side protect your family from this this evil time um see get, get this out of video here and Langley are rallying against hate. Yes, okay, let me just get this on team. This is one of the bullshit they are. This with the teaching the children even through nursery rhymes and catchy things, you know. This with the um, pushing the shoes. So basically, I wanted to bring out this 
this video right um to verify you guys are going on in Guyana and in this and in these schools I bring out this last precept on close off Second piece of chapter two verse five and sparing not the old world but save no one eight sons and the eight sons a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of ungodliness of un, of the ungodly sorry of the, of, sorry of the ungodly verse six and turning the city of Solomon Gomorrah into ashes condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. You can't, this is a filthy conversation. conversation. They pushing and actually teaching teaching the um the children. They're pushing this this thing first of the gate. Right now they are attacking schools. These people are strategic. Hey, I can just hold strong. You know, just hold strong. I can cause this the time clear. You can see the time we are in. And we're done. Until next time, shalom.